Let's see. Is this thing on? It's on. All right, here we go. 14 Gen. What is going on, guys? Well, we're back at it again. We have the 14 Gen CPUs that just came out. The i7, 14700K, and the 14900K are the two samples that they sent us. They did not send us the i5, but eventually they will, and hopefully we can test it out as well. But I will honestly tell you that the, just to give you a heads up, the i9 14900K, in my opinion, is essentially a refresh. Yes, it has a little bit better um, when it comes to wattage and thermals, but not by much. Uh, definitely is uh, a revamped uh, version of the 13900K. Uh, the big star here though is definitely the i7-14700K as you will see here shortly. Uh, it's definitely a beast and definitely a difference in performance. Uh, just to let you know too, here at PowerGPU, uh, the videos that we're posting up now are not results of the final version of a PowerGPU PC if you did purchase one. Um, what I did was when I tested this, I literally just enabled XMP. I didn't do anything crazy in Windows, any optimization or anything like that. So if you get this, in a, if you get a PC from us from PowerGPU, it will definitely bump up a little bit in performance. Nothing crazy, but it definitely a little optimization Windows-wise, which sometimes goes a long way with certain games. Um, the other thing too I wanted to do is, if you guys don't know, with CPUs, you definitely want to benchmark with lower resolution. So you're not going to see 1440p, you're not going to see 4K, it's literally just 1080p across the board. The lower the resolution, the more taxing it is on these CPUs. I'm not going to have any fancy B-rolls just because when Intel d uh, does send us these CPUs, they literally look like this. And it's just it says Intel Confidential. That's pretty much it. This is my 1300 KS that they sent me um, last year in January. So again, not too much point in doing a B-roll. Literally, it's the same thing as the last one and it just says Intel Confidential. As far as specs, we're not gonna go over too much on it. Um, literally, it's the same specs. Uh, the 13900 K versus the 14900 K, it's very similar. It does boost to six gigahertz um, with the 14900 K. The i7 14700 K did get a bump in E-cores and in cores as well. So we're going to 20, pretty much 28 threads in total uh, on the CPU, so th there's a difference there. Um, when it comes to TDP as well, it's definitely dropped down a little bit, not too much. Um, and like I said, essentially the 14700K is right on par with 13900K as you'll see here shortly. Uh, as far as the specs that we did for testing, uh, on the Intel platform we used the Z790 Pro Carbon and the Corsair 6400 C32 kit at 64 gigs. Um, I was gonna bump it up and do like 6800 C30 or, or like 7200 C32. But at the end of the day, I think most people on average are probably gonna stick around that 6,000, 6,400. So I wanted to kind of give like a real world comparison. If you guys are wanting like really in depth, like overclocking and pushing the hardware, um, there's a few YouTubers out there that definitely do it. Um, the mainstream media ones really don't do too much of it, uh, but you can definitely uh, find some out there that will. So again, just to recap the specs, literally the only difference between the AMD and the Intel platform was the board. The AMD platform we use an ASUS Hero uh, X670, while on the Intel we use a Z790 Pro Carbon. Um, again, same RAM, same GPU. We literally took the GPU and the RAM from the test bench from Intel, moved it over to AMD, so that way there'd be no differences as far as performance because some 4090s do perform a little bit better than others. Same thing with the M.2, same thing with the cooler. So I try to keep everything the same as much as possible. Everything ran out of stock except for RAM. Um, we definitely could have done 6800 C30 or 7200 C32, uh, but we wanted to keep it kind of in that mainstream level. And also kind of give you an idea of what it would be with our new Power Series that we'll be launching here shortly with some new specs. Speaking of the Power Series, let's talk about today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Power GPU, where you can purchase a PC four different ways. You can go to a ready to ship page and get a PC and have it shipped out in one or two days, or you can select from one of our three power series, which also once in stock, you could also get it shipped within one or two days. Or you could actually go on our system builder and kind of mess around with it and see what you like. If there's certain parts on there that you want that are not on the website, you could also fill out our form and we can send you a custom invoice based off your budget and needs. We ship worldwide as well. So if you want to let us know, hey, I'm building a PC to stream or game or dual PC setup, or I want to play Call of Duty at max FPS at 1440p or 1080p or 4K, whatever you like, We'll spec out the PC based off your actual needs. So head on over to PowerGPU.com and make sure to place an order today. All right, so enough talking. Let's get right into it. I want you guys to enjoy these next few videos of some benchmarks I did. I'm gonna let it roll out and then I'll come back to you all and uh, give you guys some of my thoughts. Also forgot to mention before we get into the benchmarks, the 14900K and the 14700K footage, you'll see it kind of flickers and kind of stutters. That is not due to the footage or the, the actual CPUs. The raw footage itself ran buttery smooth, no issues. The minute I transported that over to Premiere and rendered it, in Premiere they started doing that. I don't, I'm not sure why. I tried different PC, I tried the AMD PC, I tried it on Mac with Sooner, 
it still had issues. So unfortunately we had to, we had to still use the footage because we were short on time because I literally got to leave to Vegas within the next five hours. So, like I said, enjoy the video and I'll see you guys in a little bit.
Did you guys enjoy that? Sorry, I was kind of, I was kind of in your face there. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that footage. As you, as you all can see, the 1400K is definitely a really good CPU. Um, in, my, in my opinion, the, the i9, I consider it kind of like a refresh. It definitely outperforms the 1300KS. I did try it against the 1300KS. It outperformed it by like three to five FPS, nothing crazy, uh, but at a lower wattage as well and a little bit lower in temps. Uh, the biggest difference though, like I said, if you notice was the i7 14700K. It, it's, it's a pretty drastic difference. Um, anywhere from, I'm gonna say eight to 15% over the 13700K, um, which is kind of wild. I mean, that price point too, that it's gonna be at, it's about the 399, 409 price point, is gonna be a really good CPU. Um, it could handle the 4090. Honestly, I don't recommend, I mean, if you do a 4090 with an i7, 1440p is kind of the sweet spot, 4K gaming, most definitely no problem there. But for most of you out there that do buy PCs from PowerGP, I've noticed it's 1440p and you guys do more of the uh, Call of Duty, Valorant, stuff like that. But um, as you guys saw, the 7950X3 was definitely kind of struggling. Unfortunately, um, with, with the AMD platform, you kind of have to do a lot of things in Windows to kind of bump it up in performance, which it does bump up quite a bit. And that's why I said this was more of a drop-in, XMP, Windows updates, drivers, and that's about it. I didn't do anything else. Also, resize bar was on all of them, on all four CPUs. So that's not the issue, but there's still some stuff with the AMD that you can actually get a lot more performance out of it. Um, and this was all ran on Windows 11 as well, which I did not mention earlier. But like I said, I enjoyed it, I liked it. The 1400K is definitely a nice CPU, definitely highly recommend it if you're building a new PC. If you have a 1300K or 1300KS already, I don't recommend changing it out unless you could actually like, unless you just don't care and you don't you have the money to just do it, whatever, then do it. Um, and unless you can sell your i9 for a good price and for sure. Now, if you have a 13700K and you wanna jump up to a 1400K or an i7 uh, 14700K, then I would definitely highly recommend it. It's a nice little jump. But that's pretty much it all. I really, really appreciate you guys watching this footage. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a comment down below, like the video, subscribe, and I promise we're gonna have a lot more coming and uh, a lot more giveaways as well. I wanna start giving away a lot of stuff on YouTube because we need to start bumping up this content. I have to. The missus is getting on me. Before she would hate me being doing YouTube videos, but now, it's part of our job. We have to do it, right? So thank you again, guys. I'll see you all later. I got to get to the house and start packing to head out to Vegas. Peace.